Do something with your life. Do something with your life. Do something with your life. Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're doing well. I am. Good. So this video, after my first, I had a couple of friends and colleagues ask me, maybe you should do a video about who you are? I thought that was a good idea. So this video is going to be about who I am, why I'm starting a YouTube channel, and hopefully have some fun along the way. So. My reasoning for having the channel. Over the past couple years, I've, I've seen a couple of YouTubers uh, very consistently post you know, their weekly videos. Now those videos have had some impact on me over, over the time frame, of course. They've helped me get over certain things. They've, they gave me ideas. There's all kinds of things I've gained from this, so much knowledge. And I hope that I can have an effect on one of you out there at some point in your life, you know, to get you through something or to help you with something or just to educate in general or to entertain, you know. So with that being said, um, this is going to be my second video, my first video. Now that it's eight days old, has about 60 views, three likes, which I'm kind of disappointed with, but it is what it is. I've got to start somewhere. And one subscriber. You know who you are. Thank you. So... Fun facts about me. Let's go. Who is Kyle? So, I'm a 28 year old guy. You know, I have two older brothers. I grew up in Eastern West Virginia, not where the movies are made in the Western part. No, didn't grow up there. I still have all my teeth. Some people will know that joke. I met my boyfriend, Levi, there um, six and a half years ago. We met there. And we've been going strong ever since. We now live in upstate New York. That was a, a very hard thing for us to do, to just up and move and leave family and friends behind. After 26 years, that was tough. So if anyone's ever done that, you know what it's like. However, for anyone who hasn't done that, just do it. Just pack and go. Um, it's, it's one of the best things to do. It's been an amazing experience for us, and we've learned and grown so much throughout the experience. So number six, my hobbies. What, do, what does Kyle like to do? I am a very, very sporadic and random person. Um, one moment, I like being outside. The next moment, I hate being outside, as odd as that is. Um, so, so you never know what, what I'm really gonna be, wanna be doing. Right now, I really enjoy making money, but who doesn't? Oh, come on. I love to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. It's very interesting. I enjoy figuring out which products sell for the most profit, as well as um, I really enjoy researching the automotive technology industry. The technology has grown so much in the past few years that it's mind-blowing to me how we can go from almost nothing to to self-driving cars. What? So, with that being said, um, what kind of car do I drive? I have a Chevy Volt. I have a Chevy Volt and I also have a Nissan Leaf. Uh, the Nissan Leaf is kind of like a weekend car. Um, I, I bought the Nissan Leaf because my Chevy Volt lease is going to end and I will have about a six or seven month period, at best, without a car if I didn't. So I bought that for the in-between. My next car is going to be a Tesla Model 3. For those of you who don't know who Tesla is or never heard of Tesla, Tesla is an automotive company that's been in business about five to 10 years now. Um, and they have two production, production, production vehicles right now, um, the Model S and the Model X. Now those vehicles started about 75,000 and go upwards to 120. Now I, as a regular individual, obviously can't afford a $75,000 car yet. One day, one day though, um, gotta set goals. So I ordered their little baby car, which is about the same size car as I have now, which I'm okay with that. Um, but it is an all electric car that's gonna go about 300 miles in total range uh, before having to charge again, which I'm completely okay with. 
Number nine, fun fact. I work in the automotive industry. What a shocker, really. I am currently a merchandising manager, which is a very, very interesting job in itself. Um, the, the automotive business or starts at merchandising. If you don't merchandise your product, you're never gonna sell it a product. Or it's gonna be very, very difficult to sell a product. And I completely get that. So working at an automotive dealership, I love the environment. I love the people I work with, the people I see, the people I interact with. It's, it's very, very different than the corporate world that I've ever worked in. So for anyone who's never worked in the automotive industry, I wouldn't knock it and say, oh, it's just for sales. Just because you work in a dealership doesn't mean you're a salesperson. I think that's probably the number one question I, I get asked all the time is, oh, I work for the, this dealership. They're like, oh, so you sell cars. No, no. There, there are, in, in the particular dealership that, that, I, that I work in, there, there are over 250 employees. How many of those sell? About 30. So there are so many other positions involved to, to keep the organization running. Just keep that in mind. If you ever talk to someone in the automotive industry, um, it doesn't mean they're selling stuff or you know anything in, the, in that, that department necessarily. So fun fact number 10. My friends and families don't even know this probably. One of my goals in life is to retire by age 45. I know that you're gonna say, whoa, you're batshit crazy. Well, I'm gonna make it happen. I don't care what I have to do. I've seen a lot of my you know, friends and colleagues hit 65, retire, and then die at 70. I've seen that multiple times, and I'm not okay with that. You know, I don't wanna work a nine to five until I'm 65 and then retire and then die really soon after that, because it's possible. I wanna live life to the fullest, retire as soon as possible, and enjoy the rest, the remaining of my life. So, with that being said, there's my 10 facts. Please like, subscribe. There's gonna be more videos to come. If you have any comments, comment on it. I'll comment right back. And also, if you have any suggestions for future videos or anything that you'd like to see, please let me know. I'll try my best to make that in one of my next upcoming videos. And thank you very much for sticking with me and watching my video. I appreciate it, it means a lot to me. Also, please like this time. You, yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, please like. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. And sorry, I keep saying um. It's just habit, I guess. Hmm. I'm going to have to break that. So, I want to start a, um, uh, a YouTube channel.